You know, Mario has done a lot of things in his lifetime. He saved the princess multiple times. Matter of fact, he saved a few princesses. He's been a plumber, golfer, tennis player, kart racer, and even a doctor. And I figured I might as well review Dr. Mario because I used to play this game a ton as a kid. I remember my cousins owning this game, and they would play it quite a bit and even allowed me to play it from time to time. Dr. Mario was developed and published by Nintendo and was originally released on the NES in 1990. It was also released on one of them arcade-style NES cabinets, whatever the hell they were called. I can't remember the exact name, and you think I would, but it was also released in arcades as well. And not only that, it was released on the Game Boy. Now, I'm just going to talk about the NES version of this game, because that is the version of the game I know the most. Now, Dr. Mario is very similar to Tetris, but with a twist. Instead of letting blocks hit the bottom of the screen, you throw pills to wipe out viruses. The pills will be one of three colors, red, yellow, and blue, and you must align three pills of the same color in a row to kill off the virus. You can see on the right side of the screen Mario dressed up as a doctor throwing the pills, and it's a pretty simple concept to understand. The farther you get into the game, yes, the game does get more difficult. There are three modes you can choose from, normal mode, time trial, and of course there's two-player battle mode to see who can remove the most viruses. These were a lot of fun with friends, and like I said, even when I was younger, against my cousins. I remember a few years ago, me and some friends, I'd say probably four or five of them, decided to put five bucks down to see who could go the farthest, kind of like a bracket type thing. And I ended up winning, because I was better than them at Dr. Mario. But it was a lot of fun, and, you know, I made 40, 50 bucks. And it was just a lot of fun. I mean, it was a friendly competition. Nobody got pissed off that they lost or anything. Yeah, we trash-talked a little bit, but it's between friends. You will be able to move the pills horizontally and vertically, so you can match the right pill to the right color. You can choose what level you want to play and, of course, speed. You can start the game low, medium, or high. It's your choice. I know people that can kick a lot of ass at the high speed in the beginning, and personally, me, I'll start at the low and let it build up. The graphics for Dr. Mario are awesome. As you all know, the NES is an 8-bit console, so the 8-bit style graphics are just awesome. I love them. The animations are great, with Mario throwing the pills. The viruses on the bottom left corner are quite funny looking, making goofy faces and all of that. The game doesn't glitch or slow down at all. The game is quite colorful. Nothing I can complain about. The music is awesome. I love the music in this game, from the title screen to the music during gameplay. It's very well composed and fits perfectly. You can choose between Fever and Chill music, and I enjoy both of them, although Fever seems to be more well known. It's just nice 8-bit classic gaming music. It's not sloppy, it doesn't sound like shit, the sound effects are good as well, nothing mind-blowing but far from garbage. Like I mentioned earlier, the farther you go and the higher levels you get, the game will be more difficult. There will be more viruses and everything. The farthest I've ever gotten in this game is to level 13, and there's like 20 or 24 standard levels in this game that you must try and beat. But even at 13, this game was kicking my ass. One day, I will try to beat this game. I think that'd be really badass to do, and hopefully I'll do it in Let's Play form. The controls are very simple. I can't complain about them. Moving the pills around is very simple and easy. Flipping them is easy. They respond well. I can't think of one gamer that would have an issue with this game. Well, actually I do. Modern Gamer Sam. Oh, this game is too tough for me. I would rather play Gears of War anyways because Gears of War is the greatest game of all time. So kiss my ass, heavy metal gamer. You are a bitch. Your channel sucks and I hope you die in a fire, you fat piece of shit. Ugh. I'm gonna shut you down one day and then laugh when your channel is dead. I don't even watch your videos, but I hate you because I have the best logic ever. Eh. Dr. Mario is a classic NES game, and to me, a very fun puzzle-like Tetris clone. Although it's not a direct Tetris clone, it has its own merit to it, and that's awesome. The gameplay is fun, the difficulty is nice, the graphics are great, the music and sound effects are awesome, and of course the controls are badass. I do kind of wish there was a few modes in this game other than what's in there, but for what it is, I can't complain too much. The flaws are very small, and with it being on an 8-bit console, there's only so much you can do on an NES, and that's fine with me. If you haven't played Dr. Mario and you like games like this, check it out, but I'm pretty sure most of you that have played the NES have at least played Dr. Mario once in your life. 
RarityGuide.com has Dr. Mario at 26%, so you are more than likely going to find it out there, either at a local game store, flea market, or at a gaming convention, because there are people that bring their retro games and sell them. It's not a game that's hard to find. eBay has it for cheap, $547, $799, $998, $1298 for a complete in-box copy. Those are great prices as far as I'm concerned. I can't really complain about them. Of course, if you have a Wii U or a Nintendo 3DS, you can get the game on the Nintendo Virtual Console. Of course, if you have a Game Boy Advance, the game was also ported to the Game Boy Advance through the classic NES series. Not only that, there is an enhanced remake that was re-released in Japan in 1997 and was a downloadable version on the Super Famicom Satellaview peripheral. Definitely going to have to check that out. And then there was an enhanced remake that was also paired with Tetris on the Super Nintendo in a compilation game titled Tetris and Dr. Mario in 1994. Now, there are a few sequels to Dr. Mario out there. There, such as Dr. Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64, Dr. Mario Vitamin Toss, which is a browser game, Dr. Mario Express on the Nintendo DSi, Dr. Mario Online RX on the Wii, and there is also Dr. Luigi on the Wii U. And then there's quite a few variants of Dr. Mario as well, such as Dr. Rudy, an MS-DOS game, Pillmania on the Omega, McCoy on the Atari ST, Dr. Horst on the PC, Doctress also on the PC, and I'm sure there are a few others out there as well. At a later time, I plan to review some of these. Well, that's it for this review of Dr. Mario. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you go to the doctor and his name is Mario, you might want to find a different doctor before he jams pills down your throat because he's just going to toss them in there. Thanks for watching.